Yeah. We ride around this ghost. If we show up, then we still have it. Yeah, we slide around this coast. Yeah, we glowing up, but we still travel sitting high up on the stone. When my foes out, got the world clapping. Yeah, we vibing up in this show. So your main girl in the private session. Yeah, we ride around this ghost. If we show up, then we still have it. Yeah, we slide around this coast. Yeah, we glowing up, but we still travel sitting high up on the stone. When my foes out, got the world clapping. Yeah, we vibing up in this show. So your main girl in the private session. Yeah, glowing up, but we still travel. That's how a nigga survives. Flowing out, got the crowd packed. Yeah, that's how a nigga provides. Y'all insta this, y'all snap that, y'all diss this, and they snap back another mass shooting in the headlines. I'm like, damn, where that attack at? Cause y'all think this about race. They flaunt that shit in your face. It's like every day is the same agenda. It's really not that hard to trace. Fuck it, we might as well face it. Accept it, whatever it's wrapped in. There'll come a day when they run out of grace. So me and my niggas yeah. stay trapping. We yeah. ride around this ghost. If we show up, then we still have it. Yeah, we slide around this coast. Yeah, we glowing up, but we still trapped in high up on the stone. When my foes out, got the world clapping. Yeah, we vibing up in this show. So your main girl yeah. in the pocket. Hey, some would be too who I wanted to be and then what I became Ended up going my own way, but I couldn't stay in my lane Now if I'm honest, I've taken a liking to wearing these chains They hold me down, make it easier when I start feeling the pain Out of the overflow of your heart, they say your mouth speaks Well, my heart must be fucked up, cause I can't speak and I can't sleep So I stay woke in this daydream, got shit to do, got the world to see Got the same crew, got some new fleets, this an empire, fuck a boutique, that's real I only say what I feel, got a new plate with the same meal On a new hype with the same chill, y'all too fake, I stay Real, got cast down from heaven, but I'm too good to stay in hell. I don't know where the story ends, but I keep writing like, oh well, oh well. Yeah, I keep writing like, oh well, oh well. Yeah. Hey, I don't know where the story ends, but I keep writing like, oh well, oh well. Yeah. Yeah. We ride around this ghost. If we show up, then we still have it. Yeah, we slide around this coast. Yeah, we glowing up, but we still trapped in high up on the stone. When my foes out, got the world clapping. Yeah, we vibing up in this show. So your main girl in the private section. Yeah, we ride around this ghost. If we show up, then we still have it. Yeah, we slide around this coast. Yeah, we glowing up, but we still trapped in high up on the stone. When my foes out, got the world clapping. Yeah, we vibing up in this show. So your main girl in the private section. Yeah. Yow, yow. The sun is shining, the birds are chirping, the bacon is sizzling. Welcome to the Daily Swole. Testing, 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 test, 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 testing, 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 test, testing, testing, test, 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 testing, testing, testicles, testing, testicles, testicles. Welcome everyone to episode 13 Hundo and six dish five of the Daily Mother Swole, the most muscular swole cast, beard cast, broadcast, game cast, man cast, a pimp cast, a sleaze cast, a sleigh cast in the realm because... When I flex, you flex, we all flex our biceps. What is going on? Beaches, booshes, busters, hustling your hoes. It's your boy, Papa Swole. You're back with another episode. Everest and K2 flexing on you. <laughs> what is up, Beaches? How we doing? How we doing? It's a Friday night cast. I didn't expect to go live this late, but um, who cares? I mean, who cares? We go live when we have to go live. And I go live when I feel like going live. And right now, guess what? Guess what? Guess what? I feel like going live. I feel like lowering the desk a little bit. Mm, there we go. That feels a little bit more my speed. Ooh, there we go. Now I feel good. Now I feel comfortable. Before I wasn't, I, I wasn't in my zone. Hold on, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Wait, wait. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. All right. Wait. Uh, there we go. There we go. Wait, a little bit. Eh, 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 eh. Yeah. There we go. Now I get the fuck out. Okay. Okay. Oh my God. I got some evening coffee going down. Evening coffee going down. I had a great, oof, I had a great little leg pump. Great little leg pump. I've been really pushing hard on the frequency and doing a lot more, I'd say a lot more mobility, but tons and tons of just deep fucking stretching. I can't wait to get into that a little bit more. I'm going to be doing some more deep stretching in a little bit right after this, right after, right after the podcast. Oh, I'm getting into it. I'm ready to get into it. Oh my goodness getting into it. I have a, a slant board below here that I can squat on so I can go down and get a little squat. Ooh, look, you can see my shadow. Get a little squat um, while I'm doing stuff at the computer so I can 
do my prep work and everything I'm doing to set up for the podcast and for the show. And I can get in a deep squat and get a little mobility. And of course I could stand up, but there's something about standing is cool, but I like sitting. Sitting is just, okay. I can not think about engaging anything. When you're standing in one spot a lot, sometimes you lean into the desk, you start leaning and you start kind of, you know, just taking a load off. Humans are meant to be moving. Anytime you're in one spot, if you're not in a deep squat, you're going to tend to shift and lean because you always want to get, you always want to relax. You always want to take a load off. You always want to get into the, the position of least resistance. So if you are standing, you're going to lean, you're going to shift your weight. You're going to develop those habits where you lean on one leg all the time. You have that dominant hip pop on one side. So, you know, it happens today. We got a little fuck average. I got some great shit for all of us for all of you, but for all of us, this is the kind of stuff that we need to hear on a, this is the kind of shit that we need to hear on a Friday night because all you beaches, those of you that are getting it, those of you that are fucking making it happen, those of you that are getting shit done, hashtag making sick fucking gains, those of you that are making gains, those of you that have that focus, it's a Friday night. You're not the popular person to hang out with maybe. Maybe you're focused on your shit. Maybe you're focused on getting shit done and everyone else wants you to go to the bar. Everyone else wants you to drink. Everyone else wants you to fucking just be a fat fuck and eat and drink whatever. And if you don't do it, even if you go and you hang out socially, you get crap for it. This is your day. This is your Friday night. You feel like the bump on a log. Oh, I'm going to get up early and train Saturday. Come on. You're not going to come out. I got to go. I'm, I'm working out. I got to go to work at 12. So I'm going to go to the gym at eight. Oh, come on. You, you, man, you, man. Oh, it's one day. It's one day. Fucking focus. Fucking focus. This is the podcast. The Friday night should be when we go live. Should be when we go live every day, every Friday, but it won't be. Ew. Uh, brown rice is, why? You're not getting any fucking benefit from brown rice. Just more arsenic. <laughs> Fuck, gross. Gross. Eating brown rice is literally eating sand. If you're going to eat rice, just get white rice. Get like a, what, the jasmine or the basmati rice or something. Wash it. Wash it well. Boil in extra water so it dilutes it more. Yeah, get that fucking fucking brown rice. Wow, that's one thing that before. Here's a cool story. We can talk about this. Do you like? Do you like? Do you, did you any, do any of you eat fucking brown rice? God, brown rice can jump off a cliff. What's funny about brown rice is long before I ever really started getting interested in the elimination. This is long before I've always, whenever I ate brown rice, I used to think it was healthy. I used to think it was a better option. So you get sushi or something. Hey, can you, can you make it with brown rice? It always tasted like shit. And I always felt like shit. It never felt like it digested. It's not like I shit brown rice out and I saw like pellets pop out, but I never felt like it actually did anything. When I ate the carbs, I never felt like I actually absorbed anything from brown rice. I never felt like I, I never felt like I ever absorbed anything from brown rice. Not once, not once, not once that I eat brown rice and be like, Oh, I feel great. I feel like I recover. I feel, I feel it coursing through my system. Now, when I have a sweet potato, when I have a sweet potato, like I did when I got back, I didn't have my steak yet. When I, when I had a sweet potato, Ooh, I just, I feel like that goes in my stomach and just disappears. It just goes right into my fucking muscles and I just feel yoked. It's literally like that Iron Man like and just charges me up. Fuck, it feels good. Oh, it feels good. It's so good. It's so good. It's so good. Oh, let's see here. Jasmine rice. I got organic white rice. Me too. Me too. I agree. JC Peters going to the bar is average. Preach my nugs. It's fucking average. That's what everyone does. Everyone's, you know what I realized today I was going to, I had to run some fucking errands. Oh, of all days. First off, I was doing it in the afternoon. So not a good idea in Florida. Also it's Friday. So rush hour and traffic starts a little bit early. Everyone tries to get out. Plus it's the winter, so all the snowbirds are down. Plus, it's the Super Bowl, and it's down in fucking Miami, so everyone's down here. And I forgot that, oh shit, that's probably why there's so much traffic everywhere. Because everyone, every can you imagine, every single Airbnb, hotel, motel in Miami must be fucking booked today, or this weekend. 
booked. Because even if you're not going to the Super Bowl, I'm sure if you're a party person, you're coming down here, just there's stuff probably going on everywhere because every celebrity, every person that anybody who's anybody, all the influencers, all the influencers, everyone's in Miami this weekend. That's where the party is, like a UFC fight, right? Holy smashed, smashed, just fucking so many, so many goddamn people. But so many fucking people. So many, so many, so many. Oh my God. Did you say balls on my rice? No, I didn't. I love brown rice. Ew, 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 scrolls. No, brown rice, when you husk, you don't digest that shit. You don't digest that shit. Oh. Anyway, anyway, those are, I mean, people always ask me what I eat. I try not to, I've gotten messages on or responses to those questions I post on Instagram. And everyone's like, will you ever do a video that's a full day of eating? It's pretty much coffee, steak, and maybe a sweet potato or two and some fruit, some berries. And that's my full day of eating. I don't count my shit. I focus on the quality. I figure out what feels good for me. The other day, uh, Mama Solio had a bowl of grapes and I haven't had grapes in a while. So essentially I've eliminated them for the last several weeks. I just haven't had them because it's hard to find organic grapes and it's just not really, I always suspected kind of, cause I used to eat a little ton of them and I always suspected that would make me feel a little bloated or a little bit kind of like gassy, You're gassy, like the brown or the purple grapes at least. Um, and you know, they're really bad for dogs. So maybe there's something similar. Maybe I'm like a dog, but I had two or three. I just grabbed two or three. And I remember when I ate them, I remember how amazingly sweet it tastes like, oh my God, because I've been eating a lot of blueberries, a lot of frozen raspberries, you know, some blackberries, but you know, frozen strawberries or mandarins and stuff like that. Those are the kind of fruits that I like. And I've been eating a lot lately. I haven't even, I've kind of toned down on the apples so much. Just playing around with different types of fruits and, and, and sugars. Cause for those of you that have actually done elimination, you know, that certain fruits sometimes di they digest differently. They have different components, different concentrations of either fructose and glucose and different types of sugars. If you're doing FODMAP foods and you're following, you know, certain ones and you're testing for IBS and issues and you know, really what it is is just customizing your nutrition and figuring and testing. And there's nothing wrong with cutting out grapes. Oh, but I love grapes. It's irrelevant. This is where people usually have that kind of clash in their own brains and this lack of understanding of what it actually means, right? What it actually means when you cut out a food or you stop eating. It doesn't matter if you like the taste. It's about how you make it, how it makes you feel. If it doesn't make you feel good, then do you really want to eat it? There's a lot of fruits out there that you probably can have, but there are some that might fuck your world up, you know? And then it's, so I don't restrict myself. I don't restrict myself to to fruit. Like I'll eat whatever I want in terms of if I want frozen blueberries, I'll eat a bowl of frozen blueberries. I'm not counting sugar. I'm not counting, uh, you know, the, the calories. I don't do that, but I'm eating such clean fucking food. Very simple, very usable, all really usable sources of energy. And I feel good. I'm getting very, very, very much so sufficient caloric intake from my, my steak, you know, if I do have some vegetables, but usually fruit, um, that's what I normally consume. I get a lot of fiber from fruit, sweet potatoes and such. So it's just really observing. It's observing and kind of isolating which things make you feel better and which ones help you perform better and what your reactions to them. So I'm not a hundred percent sure that it was the grapes that kind of made me the next day. I felt like, oh, my stomach felt really like like stomach, like pain in my gut. And I never get that. I never get that. So it was very, and the only thing that I've had out of the ordinary is that. So it's something I'm going to keep a, a close eye on, but it's totally normal. It's totally normal. It seems unrealistic that, oh, a couple grapes or a couple things, but if you have an intolerance to it and you have a sensitivity for whatever reason, does it matter what enzyme or what this, does it really fucking matter? Plus these grapes, I think were what whole trade they're not organic but uh 
um, Whole Foods because they delivered it and I want organic grapes and it comes in and says whole trade. I'm like, that doesn't mean fucking organic, you assholes. <laughs> so if you, so I don't know if it was that or if it was just the skin or it th- doesn't matter. You know, I'll keep an eye on it, but I might test it again a little bit. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But you just said cut graped. What do you mean? What are you talking about, Rob? Sweet potatoes are better than dropping nuts on the chins? Uh, I don't know. You don't have to cut grapes. Have you, are you new? Oh, Rob, you look, you look new here, bro. (laughs) I think you're new. Nutrition is individualized. No shit, son. No fucking shit. Might be your first podcast. Welcome. Welcome to the, welcome to the swole, bruh. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. What's up, Matthew? Just killed some fucking legs. Now time for a grass-fed, grass-finished, motherfucking swole burger and sweet potato fries baked, that is. <laughs> that sounds like you got a little... Sounds like you got a little feast going on. Sweet. Whole trade or free trade is still important, though. I'm sure it's all important. But if it doesn't... You know. You know the the cutting corners in the food industry. You know if it doesn't say organic. It ain't organic. You know if it doesn't stamped, if it's not fucking stamped, you know, you know that they're cut there. It's not. I don't care if it's whole trader or if it says that a fucking, you know, a baptized alien, you know, tickled their taint while they picked the fucking grapes. I don't care what the, I don't care what the shit. If it's not, if it doesn't say so, then it's not according to anything with the food. They would label the fuck out of it. They label the fuck out of that shit. If you have the certification and you are organic, you flaunt it. That's why they put on the front because that's a selling point and it costs them money. It's fucking expensive as shit to get certified. So. And that's the thing. When you're looking for the highest quality food and you go to a place like Trader Joe's, it'll say it sounds like it's marketing. So I'm not saying, I'm not saying Trader Joe's, I'm not talking about individual products, but I'm saying if you have a store like Trader Joe's, it sounds like, Ooh, Trader Joe's. It sounds like you have native Americans, you know, passing over fruit and like whole grains, like a little farmer stand. It's a massive company, like any fucking supermarket, you know, just the styling of the words. It's brilliant marketing. It doesn't mean that it's any healthier or better than what you get at your local grocery store. You know, unless it's labeled organic and unless it's actually a quality product, So we all really, we only know as much as we know. Have any of you been to these manufacturing plants of all the food that you purchase? I haven't been, have you? So we have to take a little bit on faith. So it's, you know, it's, it's a hard, it's a hard, you have to, you have to pick your battles. You have to do your research to a point, but then you can't, unless you're growing the shit yourself, you have to, you're at the mercy of the system or the companies and the trust. So it's on the company. It's in the company's best interest to build your trust and to deliver the product they say they are, because if they don't, they're going to lose all their customers and go out of business. So it's important that they are transparent. There you go, Mike. Glad you're on. I felt depressed as fuck was going to drink, but went to the gym. Now you're on bro. Fucking laying it down a Friday night. Everyone get some gorillas for Mike. What up, Mike? Good shit. Good shit, bro. Good thing. You're going to go drinking. What the fuck is going on with you, bro? What's going on with you? What's going on with you, Mike? Where you been? What's, what's the deal? What's the deal? What's going on, Mike? I'm glad you went to the gym. Get your shit together, bro. I'm fucking watching you. Send me a, send me a text. Swole text me. Send me a message. Tell me what the fuck is going on. I'm going to slap you across the Slap you across the tits. Time to, get, time to get fucking work done. Mike. Don't be a jabroni. You're on the right path, bro. <laughs> you went to the gym. Fucking crushed it. Good. Don't be a jabroni. Mike's the tits. Mike, you've been a part of this whole thing for... When'd you start? When'd you join, Mike? I'm sure you're still watching. When, 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 did, you, when did you hook in? I was like, what, 2018 or is it 17? God, it's starting to get, we're starting to get some more years on here. 
ever, <laughs> we're starting to get a couple years. Now I'm starting to forget. Wait, holy shit. That was 2018. And, oh my God. Swolnormous is starting to have, starting to get some years under the belt. Now I'm starting to forget how f- far we've been going. This is, we're coming up on four years of the podcast. Holy shit. Jesus Christ. Oh my God. I don't think about that enough. To be honest, I just, I'm, I'm so much every day. I don't think about that so much that it's been every single day for almost four years, almost four years straight. Yeesh. Four years. Good Lord. Thanks, bro. I'm glad you're here. Send up the swole signal. That's right. Just a just a, a fucking bicep emoji in the sky. Just the beard logo. Boom. Ooh, I like that. The Batman. Just the beard. Or it's like an eggplant. It's just a fucking ball sack. I shall save you, Papa Swolio. Rare, medium rare, or well done. I only speak rare, medium rare. Well done. Fuck you. If you like your steak, well done. Why do you like killing your your delicious food? Why do you like heating and oxidizing the life out of your food? Swolnormous is a toddler. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to be four. Oh, we're going to be four. It's our fourth birthday. Four years old. I'm going to be from four years old. Don't worry. Some of us are Swolnormous live virgins. Oh, this is the Daily Swole. This ain't Swolnormous live. Sweetheart. Lynette. Let's get you up to speed. Let's get you up to speed. (laughs) <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. It's okay. I don't mind. I don't mind popping cherries. I'll pop cherries. Yow. Yow. Do it all the time. Do it all the time. Welcome to pop. Hey, we're going to be popping a lot on Sunday. I decided we discussed this yesterday and the day before yesterday. No, maybe not the day before yesterday. So on Sunday, let's, let's talk about that now. Cause I actually didn't go into it yet on Sunday. We're going to do ask Papa Solio live on. So daily swole 1366, 1367. On Sunday, we'll be on the Swolnormous channel. So a lot of you were like, do it on the fucking main channel. So we'll take the, we'll combine the Sunday fun day, Ask Papa Swolio Live, the Sunday fun day q and anus, and we shall make this epic Ask Papa Swolio Live. So we'll open it up and we'll do the, we'll do the stream on the main channel. Fucking see what happens. Maybe there'll be a thing where we do on Sundays. We'll see how many people can, and then everyone that comes in, ask questions and stuff like that. Because I think, I think what happens is, I don't know. I'm, I'm just curious. I'm curious as to doing live casts on the main channel. I used to, and it used to, and it started like affecting the actual videos. So pulled away from it, but because of the production and just to get an ask Papa Solio live episode up, I feel like we should do it in real time, do it maybe once a week and then get as many people in for the questions as possible. <laughs> Welcome new meat, <laughs> new meat, new steak, new steak. Rhiannon Heide. Good name. I'm a personal trainer and I'm so glad I found you. Finally, someone who has the same concepts in fitness. I appreciate your realness and love that you keep it real. Sharing your info with my clients. Fresh meat. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. I <laughs> Fresh meat. I feel like that should have been the card for today. I feel like it shouldn't have been fuck average. It should be fresh meat. Fresh meat. <laughs> fresh meat. Fresh. Fresh meat. Ah, popping cherries, popping cherries, popping cherries are organic. <laughs> so we got some cool posts to share. We got some cool shit to go through. Let's, um, let's go through a couple of these and a reminder again. So Sunday, we'll talk about it tomorrow more, but Sunday we're going to go live on this enormous channel. I think it'll be stoked. Oh, I think it'd be stoked. I think it will be fucking fire. So, uh, this post and we talked about it already. I think we talked about it when she posted yesterday the day before. But if you are a member of the Swole Fam, make sure you go and check these posts out in the group so you can drop your comments there as well. So Christian, congratulations, my dear. She finished the 90-day dash. So she posted, very proud that today I completed the 90-day dash. 
What did I get out of these 90 days? Well, let me tell you. I added that myself. Increased flexibility and mobility. Thank you, Swolga. Increased strength. Weights increased slightly, and I see some muscles popping out. Feeling better with nutrition. Still eliminating foods, but feeling much, much better. And sharing this journey with the Swole fam. I went to my first jujitsu class last night, looking forward to continuing to improve my strength and flexibility so I can excel in this new sport I have found and I'm excited to dive into. Go crush it. So, hell yes, Christian. <laughs> so, how many of you have completed the 90 day dash? How many of you have actually completed it or done it more um, than once? No, APS tomorrow is on Sunday. Sunday is the APS live. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. So, that's going to be on the main channel. K Diki, Diki I, Diki Y. I can never say your fucking name because it's like Dick I Y. I'm going to call you Dick I Y. K Dick I Y. Because <laughs> then I'll remember. Yeah. So, congratulations, Christian. How many of you have done the 90 day dash? Phil, you've done it. Just completed on Monday. Jordan, nice, solid. 90 day dash alumnus here, William. Uh, what's exciting is after we get a couple more, there's a couple major things that um, wrapping up from the construction standpoint of some things in X and some things from an, um, behind the scenes, obviously. But I'm excited because after I get a couple more things done, there's going to be some official releases. So super, super duper stoked for uh, the new shit that we're going to be working on and ramping up. So this accountability meeting will be fun. I'm, 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 I'm fucking in. We're, we're, we're in, we're locked in fam. Let's see. Jessica's halfway through the 90 day dash. Let's see what we got here. Halfway through. Let's build a fort. I have four more weeks of the 90 double D Mike Miller finished last week. Went back to week one. Nice. What are you doing? You just uh, increasing the volume, Pro progress that shit. Nice. Mike. Anna going to start. Gonna start primer week soon. What's keeping you? Anna. Anna. Duh, uh, uh, uh. Why soon? Everyone haze Anna a little bit in the comments. Haze, haze her a little bit. Haze, haze her a little bit. Haze her a little bit. A little hazing. A little hazing. Why soon? Anna. You can start. No, I'm just joking. Why soon? Is there a reason why you're waiting? I'm curious. Curious, 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 but good. Be careful of that word soon. Be careful of that word. Be careful of your word soon. Be careful, be careful. See, follow what Phil says. Get it. Go get it. James finished the 90 double D in August. Nice. Slim, I went straight to swole season. It's all right. We can't all be perfect. I'm just kidding. How you enjoying it, man? How you enjoying it? It depends. Wait till a couple more. Oh, my God. Wait till fucking that. Wait till that little. Wait till you smell. You smell what's burning. What's coming next for those of you that are in the swole fam. Ooh, what's coming next? I know it's not me, but hearing the disappointment. No, I'm not disappointed. <laughs> It's not me. What do you mean? It's not you. You're the one that has to start. Yeah. Get on that shit. Why not start now? That sounds like a uh, Steve. That sounds, you know, Arnold voice. And why not start now? Come on. What are you fucking waiting for? Stop being such a pussy. Don't be a baby. Yeah. Come on. Stop whining. Soon easily becomes never. Oh shit. Now we're going to get Anna doing like a midnight workout. <laughs> nice slim. I'm stoked. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Uh, I'm not the Anna. Oh, I don't know. How many Annas? That's right. Did I get the wrong Anna? You were talking to the other Anna. Oh, Jesus. I don't fucking know. You, you Annas figure it out in the comments. All right. Oh my. Now it's like the tale of two Annas. Jesus. What are the chances that I have two? What are the fucking chances that we have two Annas watching live at the same goddamn time? Fuck me. Like, I don't have enough going on. I have enough going on in my life. I have to talk to two people with the same name. You sons of bitches. You sons of bitches. I know you You fucking, you play with me. You play with me. 
You got me. You got me. Huh? All right. All right. Cheers. Cheers. You win. All right. I'll get off here. Two Annas and an Anya. Oh, God. Anya, figure out your consonants. Get your shit together. <laughs> There's two Amy sometimes. Uh, it's all right. I <laughs> need seven hours of sleep. Yow, too bad. Sleep faster. Sleep faster. Hello from Ireland. What up? Rob from Ireland. I'm going to apologize if that accent sucked. I noticed alcohol and thought it would be too hard. Apparently pretty good. Okay, I'm off. Uh, I'm, I'm off the flow. I'm off the flow. I'm trying to jump into like conversations that are going on in the comments. And I'm, I'm lost. All right, so here we go. We got this one. We got to lock this one down. Time to lock this one down. So uh, Hannah jumped into the group. Um, not jumped in. She's not new, but she posted. And I think we can get some, we can get some, some flavor. We get some support for uh, a Friday night and Friday, Friday nights are Friday nights are sensitive for some people. You see, here you go. No, it's true. I mean, is, is that legit? You skip the club tonight to make sure, Hey, right now, just like any other time right now, you have choices. You could do anything. You could do anything, anything with this time you can choose. You can choose to be here. You can choose to go to the gym. You can choose to get to sleep early. You can choose to go out and drink. You can choose to fucking do heroin. You can choose to do a lot of good things and a lot of bad things. So choices, 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 choices. So Friday night can be sensitive for a lot of people. So it's great. I'm glad when, I'm glad when we have a chance to go live on a Friday night, because I think it could just be more effective just for the fact that you're here watching this and I'm slapping you upside the fucking face with my knowledge cock and bringing you back from the other side, bringing you back off the cliff, off the ledge, which Hannah, Oh Jesus Christ. I don't know which Hannah, <laughs> but this is important. This is important. So whichever Hannah, we, uh, how many Hannahs do we have? Probably a bunch. Okay. Mentally, I've been struggling a lot and this is important. So everyone strap in ready. <clears throat> mentally, I've been struggling a lot. Last night I slipped up. I went to see a friend's band play when I'm getting drunk and also eating some food that wasn't quite a dirty dick. I think I'm going to start doing these in an Arnold voice, uh, but definitely not something I'm trying to eat anymore. Gluten and nightshades. So good call. It's it, it, sometimes we can, we can, um, I'll, I'll come back to that nutrition point. Cause that just brings something up my, in my brain, my brain hole. So today I woke up feeling like garbage and immediately started beating myself up. I didn't want to move from my bed, but also I was feeling so shitty. There was no way I could fall back asleep. I decided that my, I just, I decided that was my sign to get myself back on track instead of wasting the morning. I got up, made an electrolyte drink, grabbed my keys and went to the gym and swam laps. Afterwards, I sat in the steam room for a bit, had a healthy breakfast afterward, and I don't feel amazing, but definitely a lot better than if I had sulked in bed instead. I don't know why I'm sharing this. Maybe it's just that I know a lot of other people in this group also struggle with mental health and maybe I could inspire someone else to get back on track. If they slipped too, it happens. And uh, fuck yeah, it does happen. It does happen. And you slip and you fucking get back up. What's important to remember is, okay, or learn or address or become a little bit more aware, practice, is why you fucked up to begin with. But to beat yourself up after you fucked up, I mean, some people are going to use that as fuel, but at the same time, you can go down that vicious cycle of actually just like assaulting yourself when it does, it's not making it better. To beat yourself up and to drink more and to eat shit more and to feel all depressed and, you know, you go down that route, it makes one little thing into this whole mountainous, you know, event. So it's important to catch it before it goes down that path. But one um, up here, when she says, I'm trying to definitely not something I'm trying to eat any more gluten and nightshades. Sometimes when it comes to food, sometimes it's, it's important to remember what it's like to eat shit. And I'm not saying that's an excuse to eat garbage. I'm not saying that you need to make an excuse. I'm not saying that your nutrition isn't going to be individualized or different than someone else's. Everyone's going to have a little bit different. That's the whole point that everyone is going to have that different trigger. Maybe like the story before that I'm suspicious about, maybe it's me and just grapes are not something that my body wanted to handle. Maybe it was the fact that I ate a couple grapes and there was something else in my stomach that it reacted with. I don't know. I don't know. However, 
you learn and you have perspective. So if you go out and you eat shit food, you're going to feel like shit. And you remember, this is why I make the right decisions. This is why I don't eat this fucking crap. This is why I believe what I believe. This is, it reinforces and reminds you, okay, that you are on the right track because you forget, you lose perspective when you're only doing certain things. When you veer off your path and you see the consequences, if there are any, but they can be shocking. Again, you can go off your diet a little bit, consume something that you haven't had in several months, and then all of a sudden you feel fucking destroyed. You feel fucking destroyed. So you come right back. You come right back. It's a reminder. It's a reminder of the importance of food quality. It matters. It matters. It absolutely 100,000% matters. So, Hannah, you are loved. You are supported. And you're back on track. And those little, those little speed bumps are going to happen. Those little speed bumps are going to happen. You're going to get knocked off. You're going to knock yourself off. But then you learn and you practice and you learn why did you knock yourself off? Why did you fall off? Why did that happen to you? And then you get better at preventing that from happening in the, in the future. What's up, Will? I love spicy food. Realizing nightshades fucked me up was rough. I still stu struggle to not use hot peppers, so I eat very fucking simply. And you might be able to find other ways or other sources of, of spice, but maybe not. Maybe not. Some experimentation might. Oh, oh my God. That felt great. Oh, you all heard that. Wow, that was unexpected. That was a good one. That was a good one. This post is from, we got a few really, really fucking good ragers. This is a long one, but this is delicious. What a fucking Friday night. You guys are going to be focused as fuck when you leave here. This one's from Mel. Hello, Swole fam. I wanted to share a small update because I am excited, but also to help me accountable with you all. So I've been doing the elimination diet, but focusing on the foods to allow me to be mostly in keto. I do love sweet potatoes and a few times a week with dinner or lunch, I will have a side of them, but mostly I'm eating the grass fed steaks with broccoli or asparagus or cauliflower or Brussels sprouts. Breakfast is spinach, egg whites, sometimes a whole egg too, and mushrooms with some feta cheese that I added back in for me. Papa Swole said in a recent Daily Swole that if you have to focus on one, start with getting the food right. I have been lightly exercising like walking my dogs for one to two miles during the week and doing 5K walks on the weekend. I have lost 10 pounds this month. I think this is good. And yes, it's absolutely fantastic. So keep it up. I spent this entire month focusing on building good cooking habits. I know I posted a while ago that I would be taking the semester off from school. I work full-time and was a full-time grad in a grad program. Unfortunately, I had to return to school due to the financial elements that I would lose select awards if I took a semester off, but no sweat though, I am in this for the long haul. I am going to now challenge myself to complete the 90 day dash. There will be days where I may only be able to walk for exercise, but I want to challenge myself to pick up wherever I left off instead of getting discouraged and think I have to start over. Sure, there are a lot that I can't physically perfect, but I'm going to do what I can and give it my 110% effort. I will check in again soon, love you all. The left, and she showed a picture, the left is me 10 pounds heavier, the right is me 10 pounds lighter. I started the year off 272, and today I weighed in at 260. So 10, that's 12 pounds. That's 12 pounds since the beginning of the year. That's fucking amazing. And that's a lot. So when you think, okay, just to clarify again, for those of you that might be on a weight loss journey or losing some pounds, it's normal or ideal one to two pounds a week. And you're going to be losing water weight. A lot of that's going to be water too. But if you were losing fat, and let's say it was pure fat, that's a range. So per week, so losing 12 pounds in a month, that's three pounds a week on average. Now that's going to be a lot of water weight. And at the beginning of your weight loss journey, that's why people get so excited at the beginning. They cut carbs completely or they do something drastic. Not that she is, but I'm just saying people lose a lot of weight really fast. It's water weight. And then it plateaus off because you're not just going to keep on losing weight endlessly just because you're just going to lose all the water in your body. So after a while, 
it starts to plateau and even out and then you have to maintain. So when you first lose 12 pounds in a month, when that turns into four pounds a month, it's not as exciting, but that's why people quit when they should be doing the opposite and going harder and staying consistent and stop. And and literally, if you are losing a pound a week, that's where a lot of people lose out and they miss out. So congratulations, Mel. Keep crushing it, dear. When you, when you're trying to make a change and you're losing, let's say you need to lose 30 pounds or 50 pounds or 20 pounds, you still have to lose one pound at a time. And everyone just thinks 50, 50, 50 in their brain, 50, got to lose 50 pounds, 50 pounds, 50 pounds. Every time you go to the gym, you're thinking 50 pounds. Every time you're making your meals, you're thinking 50 pounds. That's not how the life, that's not how life works. That's not the right way to focus. That's not the right thing to focus on because if you're only thinking about 50 pounds, you're only thinking about this magnanimous goal that might take six months, a year, two years, whatever it is, it's going to take time. It's going to take a lot of time and resilience and there's going to be ups and downs, successes and failures. And it's going to be, even if it's half a pound a week, two pounds a month, it's, even if it's two pounds a month, that's going to be 24 pounds in a year. It's two, you know, two years, 50 pounds, like you'll be there two years. Okay. Then a little bit more, maybe you're not losing two pounds a month, but a lot of people half a pound a week, they get really discouraged. But if you do half a pound a week for two years, that's 50 fucking pounds. And most people, if you're learning and developing and practicing and getting better, it'll be a little bit more or some weeks it might be a pound and a half and the next week it might be zero. And then you're going to fluctuate. You're going to fluctuate. You're trying to force your body to adapting to a new lifestyle, to new nutritional intake, to new, a new weight. You know, you're, you're changing what you're doing. There's a lot of habits and bacteria and things that overhaul in your system and people don't give enough credit for that kind of overhaul process. Think of how many habits have to change. Think of how many different things that you do during the day that are different when you take a healthy approach versus a lazy approach. Like just who you hang out with and what you do with your schedule and what you do on a Friday night is going to be different because it's going to be how you feel on a Saturday and you're affecting this for your workouts on a Saturday and then what you buy at the supermarket and where you go because certain things in certain places that you go, you're going to be eating certain foods that don't align with you. So you're eating first. So you're not going to that place. You're not hanging out with those people. So your friends start shifting because your focus is different. There's just so many different things that come into, and there's a lot of, it's tumultuous at the beginning. And that's why a lot of people don't succeed. It's not that, oh, it's so hard to eat these foods. It's all the other social pressures. It's all the other things. And people get inside their own fucking head and they fuck themselves up. It's not complicated. It's very, very simple. And that's what Swolnormous X is all about. It's simple. It's not, it's not something fucking complicated. Just people don't do the basics. That's why we have the seven pillars. People don't do the basics. You focus on the basics. You focus on the fundamentals. You'll get the results. If you focus on community, right? What you're watching, what you're listening to, who you're spending time with. You focus on the quality of your food. You focus on customizing, individualizing your training protocol. You focus on your recovery, mental and physical. You focus on your mobility. You focus on your mindfulness and you're meditating and you're practicing more awareness of your actions and you're, you're building that brain strength and that mindset. And then consistency, you're going to lose 50 pounds. That's cake. That's a side effect. That's a casual, oh, you'll lose the fucking weight that you need to lose. It will happen. And everyone in X, you're doing it because that's what you're focusing on. You actually get what you want by focusing on the more important things. You actually get the fucking results that you wanted without focusing on 50 pounds. You want to lose 50 pounds? You follow the seven pillars. You approach your lifestyle and your nutrition habits and your fitness habits like that. You'll lose that fucking weight. That will happen. That will fucking happen. You don't even have to worry about it. You really fucking don't. You really don't. And if you ever do start focusing on it more and you have those other pillars in place, it's going to be fucking cake for you to focus on that because you're already going in that direction. And then it snowballs and then you fucking crush it. And you're like, oh, it was simple. Oh, I just had, to, oh. Oh, oh, show me your O oh face. Oh, oh, oh. Great movie, classic, a little office space. I haven't watched that in a while. Yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. That's the biggest, that's the thing that blows my mind the most. That blows my fucking nips off. People get upset. I only lost a pound. 
how do you think you lose 100 pounds? You lose one pound 100 fucking times. It's stupid. It's stupid. Every single ounce matters. If you lost, if you lose an ounce, if you lose a fucking ounce every day, an ounce every day, that's 300, okay, an ounce a day. Alexa, what's 365 divided by, wait, (laughs) Alexa, what's, Alexa, what's 365 divided by 16? Alexa, what's 365 divided by 16? Twenty-two. So you lose twenty-two pounds in a year. No, that's not right. An ounce a day. Yeah. So an ounce a day, twenty-two pounds, whatever, in a year. That's not bad, right? People put on weight like that. Did I do that math correctly? Right when I right when I asked, my brain just like misfired, and all of a sudden I, I'm thinking, you ever look at a word that you spell, and you're like, that doesn't look like it's spelled right, even though it is right, and you corrected it, and you checked it on the dictionary, you're looking at that word, it doesn't look right, you ever get that, the word just looks confusing, right, so yeah, 365 divided by 16, whatever, 22.5, that's it, that's how much you would lose in a year if you lost one ounce, an ounce a day, an ounce. So an ounce a day is seven ounces a week. That's less than half a pound. That's less than half a pound a week. People don't have patience. People don't realize that there's that accumulation. That math was rough, huh? My head is like steaming. Too much math. So um, I'm gonna probably do be. I'm gonna be doing a movie. A movie. Movie, Jenna. I'm going to be doing a video on this upcoming. I'm going to let Marsha do it first. Uh, but Marsha, you remember Marsha? Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Remember Marsha from uh, the video that I made over the summer? Remember she was uh, saying that she's obese and that she's going to change. Blah, blah, and right, we and she, we brought her into Solnormous X. And I don't want to show everything. I don't want to show her video. But like I want to, she's making a video on it on YouTube. And then I'm going to follow up with it, but I just want to give her some props here because it's epic. So I'm not going to play the video, but she says, Oh my God, this video is completely unedited, but I have finally hit my first big goal on the scale. And I just had to share it with you all. I had a whoosh finally, after being on a plateau for more than a month, persistence pays off. So think about that shit right there. We just talked about, this is exactly the segue we just talked about losing like half a pound or an ounce, right? She was on a plateau, a plateau. Jesus Christ. Speak, man. Speak. She was on a plateau, <laughs> a plateau for more than a month. How many people would have given up? How many people would have given up? She kept on going. She was on a plateau for more than a month, more than a month, yo. If you recall from the video, um, I made after he saw my first YouTube video. My starting weight was 349 pounds. Yay, woohoo. Happy dancing all over my house right now. Um, I will be making a YouTube as well, but the scale stuff will be edited. So this is the only place I am showing the complete uncut version. Notice how many times I did it. (laughs) She stepped on the scale like five times. So she lost 50 pounds. According to this, 51. So fucking killing it. Absolutely killing it. Isn't this awesome? I know this is fucking great. I'm I'm so I'm so excited. And this is going to be a video that I make that I'm going to show because this is the same time frame where we're making all the videos, still have, but all the videos on Tess Holiday, on all these obese and body positive and plus size, all these fucking advocates that are pretending like they can't lose weight and they're just like that and love them the way they are because no, I won't. And Marsha, if you're 350 pounds and you looked and you were in the situation that Marsha was, she just fucking made the changes. You're telling me that she can do it, but no one else fucking can get out of here. Shut the fuck up. These are people that have adopted new identities for being obese and they're getting popularity and they're famous because they're fat and they have no They have no incentive to lose weight because they're famous for being a plus size model. If they lose weight, they're going to be an average person and no one's going to, 
And it's a fact. No, most likely people aren't, aren't going to be, oh, there's not, there's not going to be that same special appeal. Wow. You're so proud of yourself. Well, <laughs> you're such a proud woman for being obese. How hard is that? How fucking hard is that? Everyone wants a fucking medal. You're obese. Why? Why? Why should I clap? That's the opposite of effort. It's so hard to be obese. It's so fucking hard. Oh, oh, the challenge you must have had eating all that pizza and shit. The challenge you had overeating calories for decades. Oh, <laughs> by all means, you must, you must be so exhausted reaching your hand up to your mouth. Anyway, no, of course, not everyone's obese. Everyone loves to say, well, not everyone's obese. For, yeah, okay. It's the magic obesity. The magic calories are just, I look at food and I gain weight. Well, it's because you eat it after you look at it. (sighs) I just look at food and I gain five pounds. It's because you ate five pounds of food after you looked at it. Don't put it in your mouth. (laughs) Uh, Oh, me. All right, so this one is another, this is another doozy. And this is something that I, this is in the, this is in the Swole Fam. And of course, a lot of you already, already chimed in, but this is another mental health approach and something I definitely want to fucking address because extremely, (laughs) extremely important that everyone that has issues, listen the fuck up, that you listen the fuck up to this. All right, this is from Kat, back out here. Happy Friday, fam. Has anyone weaned off antidepressants since joining Swolnormous X? I am currently on 40 milligrams of Prozac a day, but when I was put on it, I was not doing well, both physically and mentally. I just brought I just bought earplugs to help me get a better night's sleep consistently. I am lifting three days a week, doing my yoga plus meditation, eating quality foods, and getting time outside. I also stay up to date with the podcast to give myself a kick in the arse to get shit done. So Everyone listening, watching, do not, I said, do not wean off antidepressants, antipsychotics, anything without a doctor's supervision or instruction. Do not do that on your own. Okay. So cat, my dear, do not do that. Talk to your physician, talk to your psychiatrist, whatever prescribe that to you and make sure you do it the fucking right way. So that's great that you could potentially, but you don't fuck around with that shit. And there's no way in fucking hell that I would ever, that would ever say that you should do not. Okay. I'm not a medical doctor. You should go fucking talk to one. So you need to make sure that you're under supervision as done because sometimes it depends on the situation and I'm not going to venture any options, but it could take you months. Maybe you go down a little bit and then all of a sudden it fucking completely spirals and rebounds and, you know, out of my area of expertise. But what I do know is you definitely don't want to do that on your own. All right. So I'm glad you posted and a bunch of people already said that already in the comments, but I wanted to bring this up in case you're listening because I wanted to reinforce it. Don't fucking do it. Timothy, I haven't posted here before, so I wanted to introduce myself. I'm a personal trainer from Brooklyn. What up? I went to school when I was little in Brooklyn. And for a while, I stopped exercising at first for health reasons, a mold in my sinuses. Ooh, funky. And then it was because of a a bunch of mental bullshit. Not being able to... Sorry, sorry, Timothy. (laughs) Had to. There we go. Not being able to really exercise may be depressed as fuck, and I started to eat like shit too. However, I started to get my shit together with my diet right around Christmas. Fucking hard to do, especially with my fat fucking family. Because I started watching Papa Swolio, I started to do cardio at my gym and following the Swolga courses. I am moving the best I have in a long time and starting strongman training again. Thank you for being the impetus for me to get off my ass. And much love, Timothy. I'm glad you're crushing it. I love it. I love it. See, this is what I was saying with the fuck your resolutions for months. I was saying, if you start, if you fucking pull this off and you start around the holidays, yeah, you're, you're in like you're in, 
you're in. If you start your nutrition, if you start your approach, if you fucking lock shit down and you join X and you join around the holidays, you join around that time of year. Ooh, if you can make it through the holiday season, you're locked in. You're good. You're golden, bro. You're golden. That kind of discipline that you can build over the fucking holidays. Holy shit. If you lock that down, you're good. You're good to go. Good to go. Yeah, fuck yeah. Kara's uh Kara's pitching in. Please listen to Papa. You can completely swing the opposite way due to withdrawal and it could be life threatening. Seen it too often in my field. So good. Thank you for reinforcing that, Kara. Excellent, excellent. Josh, know someone who has depression and it's something you don't fuck with unless you're working with medical professionals. So good. Thank you, everyone, for uh, pitching in on that. And if you can, also, make sure you go to the Swole Fam group and also comment on that post if you haven't already. And because, you know, when you post on when you post on the page, you'll get notified if someone responds to your page. So make sure you re- respond and bring attention to it and make sure that, make sure she gets it. Make sure she gets the message. So doing my part here to make sure that in case she listens to the Swole, which she probably does, but yeah, here we go. Let's see. When I went off my meds for bipolar disorder, the withdrawals were brutal. Okay, good. So do it, do it wisely. Everyone's pitching in. Thank you, everyone. And Leah, this is awesome. Huge, huge progress last night, fam. My dad, who's been staying with my husband and I, since he broke his back, has wanted to help cook. He said he wanted to make meatloaf and had pulled out two packs of our grass fed beef. He then told me that instead of oatmeal or anything else, he wanted to try making it with cauliflower rice. This is huge as he's like the grain and gluten king and typically refuses my, quote, weird food, hoping it turns out. Also very proud he's learning to try new things with us to be healthier. And that is fucking awesome. And this is kind of the backbone behind the message where it's leading by example. So obviously typically refuses your, quote, weird foods. Yeah, obviously you've been doing it. You've been doing it your way. You've been doing your thing. And he's seen that. And he's probably chided you or teased you. But then after he broke his back and you feel limited and you feel stiff and he probably sees you being healthy and moving and he's probably like, oh, shit, you know, maybe I should take this seriously because I broke my back and I need help. Like, let me let me do things the right way. Let me clean up my act so I don't so I'm not limited mobility later in my life. So I think like I, I, I think that's like that's really a message that I'm always trying to get across. So it's great when you see that actual example, when if you're leading by example and you're putting it all out there, like if you're doing it, you know, if you're doing it, people are going to see. And again, I don't have kids, but if you have kids, your kids are watching you. I've been, I've been around a lot of kids. They fucking watch everything. They see everything that you do, even the stuff that you don't think they see. And they know when you're being a hypocrite. They know when, oh, you're just telling them not to eat that and you're eating shit. Don't eat fast food and you're shoving your face with Burger King. So make sure that you are aware of that. Don't be a hypocrite. If you say you're doing something a certain way or you should eat this or do things, then you do it. If you say you should be going to the gym, hey, you should be going to the gym. Don't be going out. Then you better be going to the gym and not going out. Don't be a hypocrite. That's no good. That's no good. And if you are saying something that's important, You could be transparent about it. Like I always talk about sleep. Sleep is so important. And for me, and this is just, this is just my life because everything's fucking digital and we're getting messages and stuff all hours of the night and there's content, there's all the stuff, always moving, always doing stuff. So I get sleep. It's just not always consistent. But like I'm saying, you should try and do your best to get consistent, regular sleep. And for me, the only challenge is It's something that I create for myself because I have this kind of personality where if I'm working on a project, I finish it. I'm like, oh, I'll finish it the next day. Oh, I'll just push off to tomorrow. Oh, I'll do a little bit every day. I want to stay up all night, fucking boom, done. So that's kind of like how I work. So I'm always kind of like push, pull and like tug of war, making sure that I'm not completely swinging the opposite direction. But I very, I on ramp during the day. So I get very creative and I like that kind of evening time, the world is quiet and I'm fucking crushing and hustling, but I make sure I get my hours. So both are important going to sleep at the right time, but also getting enough of it. But you know, even if you're going to sleep late at, 
And, but you're, at least if you're getting enough sleep, like the quantity, that's good. You're getting your recovery. If you're going to sleep really late and you're still getting up at 6 a.m., you're going to sleep at 3, you're burning the candle at both ends. So I guess that's the best way to say it. Don't burn the candle at both ends. So if you're going to sleep at 2 or 3, but you can sleep till 12 or you can sleep till 10, you know what I'm saying? It's You might still feel groggy, but at least you're getting hours. At least you're getting time. So no wonder I like coffee so much. Well, so in other words... In other words, that's something I always talk about, sleep, recovery. It's so important, but that's why we're always working on it. And I'm always trying to do better. And you're always trying to do better. And it's that constant, constant, just forging of the pillars. It's that constant, constant attention. It's that constant focus, constant, constant focus. You know, once you let your foot up off the fucking pedal, you let your foot up off the gas, shit goes sideways. How many of you checked out the Procast already? Did you guys check out the new, the new Procast? Dun, 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 dun. Brand new episode of the Procast went live today. And um, King D again. King D. King D back for another fucking episode 003. Oh. Really hard to title these episodes. Like, I try to title them as generally. Today, I actually, for a little bit, the title was just 003. It's like, what the hell do I put for the title? We talk about a thousand different things. How the fuck do you, how do I title those episodes? How the fuck do you title a conversation like that? Crazy. How do you fucking title that shit? Anyway, so I do my best to title it just to have something there, but 003, it's up. Go check it out and you'll, you'll enjoy all the stuff. Enjoy it, enjoy it, enjoy it. Thank you, Adam. Appreciate it. Procast is fire. Thank you, Slim. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Fire Procast. Go check it out. So fam, on a Friday... On a Friday, are we focusing on our pillars? So here we go. Friday night gains. Pillar number one, community. Your environment is a reflection of your choices. It will shape who you are and who you will become. Make sure on this Friday, maybe it's an unfollow Friday. Maybe it's like an unfollow Friday. Maybe it's, maybe it's a, maybe it's a, not hanging out with the same people that you've been hanging out with every Friday. Maybe it's shifting things up. You're cutting down apps on your phone. You're cutting down screen time. Whatever you're doing, tighten up your fucking circle. Tighten up your surroundings. Pillar number two, nutrition. Do not pursue quantity at the expense of quality. Your body requires specific fuel to function optimally. Pillar number three, training. Pursue a training protocol designed for your specific needs. Always be assessing, always be looking, always be observing, always be thinking and log these changes, log your, log your reactions, log what you're going through and be aware that you can tweak things. You're not a fucking robot. Number four, recovery, actively invest in your physical and psychological repair. You are not a passenger. Do not sit by the wayside. Take control, take action, and make those investments physically and psychologically, your meditation, your yoga, your hydration, your sleep. Get your shit in order because not having this fucking pillar is going to be catastrophic. Pillar number five, mobility. Your ability to move through space is a unique privilege. Do not take it for granted. Go move your fucking ass. Go move your skinny or your fat fucking ass. Just go fucking move it. Go move. Go move your fucking ass. Pillar number six, mindfulness. Control what you can control and release, release what you cannot. Find stability in the struggle and peace in your process. Take some time. Do some more brain gains. Check out the brand new Swilosophy section that's been broken out. You have fucking like 30 plus new Swilosophies. Those of you that are Swole fan members, make sure you're putting in the time. Make those fucking brain gains. And of course, to top it off, the cherry on top, the pillar of all pillars, the pillar behind the pillars, consistency, execution is everything, passion and purpose will forge this pillar in perpetuity. Make sure you're taking action and fucking do it. Fucking do it and do it regularly. Do it. If you don't do it, cool. Oh, you got a cool nutrition plan. Cool. How's that working for you? If you're not fucking eating the foods, how's that training plan going? How's that training plan going? It's not. If you're not executing if you're not fucking executing, do it. The training program is not going to lift itself. Those weights don't lift themselves, bitch. Ain't going to lift themselves. 
We got fuck average coming up. We're going to give away the swole card in just a moment. I think it's time for a fucking water break. Bishes. Fuck average. 1365. 1365. 65. How we doing? Yo, Mario. Yeah, you're late to the man cast. Catching at the fucking buzzer. We need some eggplants and water droplets. Let's bust some nuts in the comments. Make it rain, Bishes. We'll get a little water break. Let's get the kitty. Kitty? Kitty? Yeah. Come on, kitty. Let's go. Water break. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Oh, that's where you were today. Just got back from Utah. Got me some 40 pounds of grass-fed beef. Damn, son. Boom, son. Come on, kitty. Let's go. Yeah. I, gotta, I got shit to do, bro. Fucking goddamn pussy. Oh, my God. Not you, Mario. Fucking yeah. Let's go, little beach. All right, we're good? There you go. Yes, you good kitty. All right, here we go, fam. Three, two, shwan. It's dance time. Ah, oh, there you are, kitty. Good kitty. Good kitty. Mm. Yes, good kitty. Good kitty. You could get there. Mm. How you doing, Tess? How we doing? How'd you like the podcast today? Was it a good show? Yeah, you liked it? That was a good. Yes. Yes. You're a good girl, too. You're a good girl, Tess Hornaday. <clears throat> yeah. It's <clears throat> <sighs> good shit. Oh, God. Yow. 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 Oh, my God. Okay, where's Papa? She's in. She didn't want to get out of her bed. And the camera's up here. I have the other camera down there. I have to hook it up. She'll be back. She'll be back in a day or so. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. She's in the other, in the, in the other room. And I was like, hey, come on, baby. Let's go over do the podcast. She's like, she didn't even move. I was like, I didn't know she was dead. She's not dead, but she's being a little beach. So fucking, it's all right. I got Tess. I don't need her. I don't need you, Papa Swolio. Little beach. Just a fucking. Weak burp, fuck average. Fuck you, Phil. <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> it was pretty weak. I will be honest. <sighs> I will be honest. Jesus Christ. Okay, fuck average. Here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Let's do this. <coughs> fuck average. There we go. Scroll. Scrolling. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Fuck average, I'm scrolling. And then, no, no scrolling. Whoa, what was that? My phone just made noise. Scrolling, went straight to swole. That's an old comment. No, missing right in the middle. Close one. Oh, I keep landing on comments. You missing a missing a hashtag? No, no hashtag there. Nope. Oh, we're coming close. We're coming close. I think I'm getting every comment that doesn't have a, the hashtag. No wonder why Papa loves carrot coffee so much. No. No fucking way. There we go. Oh, my, well, who's this? <laughs> oh, my God. Not the Annas. Not the two Annas, but Anya. Congratulations, Anya. Congratulations. You are the winner. Congratulations. So I hope you're still watching. Anya with no last name, but Anya, you are the winner of Swolcod 1365. So send us an email to support at swolnormous.com with uh, Swolcard 1365 in the subject and your mailing address in the body of the email, and we will mail that to you. Well, I will mail it to you, and then you'll get it. And you'll be like, ooh, and you'll cover your nips with it, or whatever you do. I don't know what you guys do with swole cards, but they're in the mail. Um, new batch went out, so those of you that are waiting, coming soon. Some of those international ones take forever, apparently. So um, they're coming. Don't worry. Congratulations. 
how's everyone? There you go. Say congratulations. Be nice. Be nice. Be nice to her. That's standard. It's standard, you fucking assholes. Stop being such a baby. Come on. Stop whining. You come back tomorrow, 366, and you'll do it. Remember that on Sunday, so we'll talk more about it tomorrow, but on Sunday, not tomorrow, not three, not 1366, 1367, we're going to be live on the Swolnormous channel, and we'll take uh, some questions. All right, we'll do an Ask Papa Swolio live. That's the plan, but we will be live. And we will be doing an Ask Papa Solio live on Sunday. So those of you that are part of the Swole fam and you get Swole text, I will be letting you know, of course. Um, we'll talk more about it tomorrow. All right. So thank you, everyone. Congratulations, Anya. Send me that email. Send us the Swole team. We'll get back to you and we'll get that fucking over to you. And you can put that on your schwal. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining me for episode 1365 of the Most Muscular Swolecast, Beardcast, Broadcast, Gamecast, Mancast, Pimpcast, Sleezecast, and Slaycast in the realm. Because when I flex, you flex. We all flex our biceps. Peace, McGeese. Deuce, McGoose. Yeah, boy. Papa Swolio. Ho, 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 ho. Out.